Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be a October Musings video. I guess October Musings would be a decent title. <laughs> I don't know. Um, happy October, you guys. We are just in the first day of it and I know I look forward to this time of the month all year long. Um, so the fact that we're already here is just super exciting. <clears throat> um, I'm doing my best to make this month feel as Halloween-y as possible because when you live in Southern California, sometimes the weather doesn't always feel fall-like. Sometimes it feels like you're still in summer. Sometimes it's, it is fall and sometimes it's just like a blend of the two. Like you wanna throw on the sweater, but then you know you're gonna get hot. <laughs> so I try to do my best to like make fall a legit season even though it doesn't always the weather doesn't always reflect that um so one way that i am you know really enjoying the season is lighting pumpkin scented fall scented candles um in my home so i totally recommend <coughs> you guys doing the same thing if you love to light candles um scent, a good scented candle you could find really good ones at um, bath and body works that's where i have mine and I totally recommend leaves. That is the probably the, the epitome of fall, the scent of, of, of fall. I also have um, pumpkin cupcake that I started to light and then, um, but I haven't been lighting him much because I'm not gonna be home much this week. So um, when I come back, I'll be able to enjoy the rest of it. But that's like more of a sweet, like it smells like someone's baking pumpkin cupcakes, literally. Um, also, like cinnamon scents are really good too for fall. Um, so anything cinnamony, and um, I think maybe anything like what else? Maybe woodsy, like something woodsy. Although, like it has to be the the perfect one because some of those woodsy scents are a little bit too uh, too strong, <laughs> at least in my for my taste. Um, another place you guys you could get really good smelling candles at a discount is like Walmart. So I picked up a couple fall candles at Walmart that I have not, I haven't lit yet, but I'm excited to because they smell very, very similar to the Bath and Body Works candles. Um, I have a candle that I started, which is a cinnamon, a red apple, like a red cinnamon scent that I bought at Michael's, but um, I was kind of disappointed in that one. Like the scent isn't very strong. So that was kind of a dud, but I still use it. Um, Target also has some really good smelling candles and I believe you could find the Yankee candles at Target, which are a little bit more pricey, but you will get a good scent out of those. Um, but Target also has those crackle candles, the, the wooden wicks. And so I have one of those, it's an apple, <clears throat> like an apple pie scent that I have in my, um, oh, excuse me, I just finished my breakfast. Um, it's like an apple pie scent and I have that one in my tarot room. So when I'm doing readings, I light it up and <laughs> you could hear the crackle in the background and it's just so relaxing. So um, I, I love to pick up some candles from, from Target as well. Um, but yeah, so that's like one way that I like to enjoy fall. Um, another way is, you know, decorating the house. So I don't really have much decorations right now because it's been a little weird in my home. It's just, you know, it's just been me, but I have a bunch of these, um, little pumpkins, these ceramic pumpkins that I purchased at the dollar store. So, you know, some, a little bit goes a long way. So I have a couple of those out here on my counter. I have a lot of them, like pretty much the room that is decorated right now is my tarot room because that's where I do my spooky readings. So um, the rest of the house might get decorated a little bit, but I don't know. I don't, I don't think me and my husband are gonna go all out as much as we had originally planned. Um, just because, you know, ugh, he's starting his new job. So, <laughs> so we're just a little bit, we're, it's a little bit of an off year for us. Um, but you know, decorating your home, um, what else could you do? Read. So this, the topics, the subject matters of your reading. So if you guys are bookworms and you want to get into the fall season, I recommend reading some horror books. Um, horror, some like murder mysteries or um, true crime or anything like 
horror related. Um, if you're into like nonfiction reads, then you can read, you know, like some spiritual stuff. <clears throat> um, like some witchy, like stuff about witchcraft or whatever. Like, I don't know, just something fun. But to me, it's like having a book to read makes all of the difference. So right now, let me get a, uh, let me see. <laughs> right now I'm currently reading The Pet Cemetery um, by Stephen King. And um, so this one is getting me into the feel of fall. And I'm also starting to pick through the Demon Tarot. This is the guidebook for the Demon Tarot. Um, so I've been really looking into reading the, you know, about a little bit more about each of the cards because this is not a deck that I work with often. Um, and it's one that I've always been curious about the little, the little demon creatures. So, um, I've definitely been starting to read through this one and it's really interesting. So <clears throat> that's how I've been kind of getting my flavor of fall by having some spooky reading in, you know, when I'm at work and then, um, what else? Um, the decks. So if you guys are tarot readers, then another way you could, you know, enjoy is by bringing out your spooky decks. So I have right here on the table, I have the demon tarot and then I also have the zombie tarot because these are, these are the decks that I use for the weekly readings. So I have the zombie tarot here. <laughs> Cute little zombie. <laughs> um, but I find, you know, switch out your decks like bring out your spooky decks bring out your halloween theme decks um and work with those this month you know so that's like another way you can get into the groove of it um also if you are if you have long commutes like i do um listening to like horror audiobooks would be a good thing like a lot of people i know like to listen to the audiobooks when they're driving I'm not so much an audiobook fan. I'd rather just have the physical book to read. But if you are into it, then pick something scary and listen to it. Um, another, one thing I am a fan, a fan of is um, podcasts. So I have been listening to spooky podcasts. There's, there's a paranormal podcast I listen to. They talk ghost stories and stuff. Um, there's another podcast that talks they don't update as much but they talk about like some scary stuff um i think there's like a murder mystery podcast i, I was trying to subscribe to but i wasn't really feeling it um but yesterday one of the people that i follow um on one of the podcasts i listen to the mile higher club it's <laughs> um it, there it's a husband and wife combo and they talk about, you know, conspiracies and like aliens and, and murders and this and that. They talk about a bunch of different weird stuff. Um, and so yesterday they talked about the Salem witch trials. So while I was driving two hours in traffic going home, <laughs> I was listening to the Salem witch trials. Like they, like they were just, they were re doing some like reading up, up on it and just their own little personal opinions and discussion. And it was really interesting. So um, you know, I'll listen to that. And so I, I like to kind of tune in, um, to podcasts with a subject matter. Oh, my little flakes. If you guys see my flakes, don't judge. I have like dry scalp. <laughs> the season changing. I have dry scalp. Um, so I like to listen to spooky things like that. That's another way for me to get into it. Um, another thing is if you guys are into ASMR and you watch YouTube, um, I'm a total ASMR fan. Like I listen to it almost every night. Um, a lot of the ASMRists, uh, ASMR, it is, I don't know how we would say it, artists, <laughs> the, the artists, they are, um, coming out with their Halloween ASMR stuff. So I've been really enjoying that. Sometimes they have like spooky, you know, role plays or it sounds funny, but it's really good. Um, so, so there's like some spooky role, role plays or whatever. So I've just been diving into all of the Halloween ones or sometimes I just go back in time and like I'll watch some like older episodes from a couple years back by some of the favorite ASMR people that I love um, where they've done, you know, some spooky stuff in the, ba in the, in the past. Um, if you're into YouTube, I also recommend looking at Halloween costume DIYs or fall decor DIYs. I don't know. For some reason, like, videos like that really make me think of fall and it gets me into the, the mood. And, of course, then I think, oh, I want to make my own costume. But it usually never happens because I don't have the talent and the time 
for the patients to do so. So, <laughs> um, and then also like this year, Halloween falls on a Thursday this year and I do work, but I don't really plan on getting dressed up. Um, I'm probably just going to wear my Freddy sweatshirt and just deal with that. I don't think I'm gonna go all out. I just don't really wanna spend money and <laughs> I don't know, so we'll see. But, um, <laughs> um, so yeah, I recommend that. So like changing up what you watch on YouTube, like do a little bit of a Halloween-y twist to that. Um, your meals, like what you cook at home. So when they're, every once in a while in here in Southern California, we'll have a nice gloomy day. Like we had one of those the other day. So I find that like those gloomy days are the perfect days for like a bread bowl or um, like some um, chicken noodle, homemade chicken noodle soup or some menudo or pozole or tamales, you know. Um, I find certain foods really remind me of fall season or like the cold season and so I really crave like or, or, or getting some pho. Oh my God, that's like probably my favorite. <laughs> so anything soupy and hot um, or a bread bowl is just fucking the epitome of fall food for me. So it's like comfort food, but it's like yummy food. Oh my God. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I recommend that, you know, eating foods that make you feel like it's fall like like there's um there's this really cool pan dulce place pan dulce pan, pan dulce I'm, I'm trying to act like i know how to say it you know like my people <laughs> um there's a bakery by my mom's house and um they have really good champurado so i go and I'll, i always order a champurado on my now i have to do it like on my way or i have to literally like drive a, a, to a different freeway because the way I go to work is I take a, a you like you guys even know but I there's okay so down in down the hill there's three freeways that are pretty much parallel to each other right um and they all can take you to the same spot just they're like a few miles like maybe five miles apart <laughs> does that make sense so when I'm driving to work I always take the, the highest freeway off the foothills because it's just less traffic. It just seems like it's less traffic, you know, and I just, I prefer that freeway. But my mom's house is the third freeway down. <laughs> so if I wanted to go to, to the Pandose Bakery or if I wanted to visit my, my parents or whatever, I have to drive down to the third freeway. So that's what I mean. Like if I have to take an alternative route. Um, so today, which actually would probably be a good day to go get some champurado because today I'm gonna go. I'm I get off work at five, and I'm if I if I'm if I get off work at five and I jump on the freeway to go home, guaranteed I don't get home till seven because there's a lot of traffic at that time. So rather than sitting in traffic for two hours like I did yesterday, <laughs> um, I'm gonna be stopping to pick up some. I'm probably gonna get like a half and half veggie and rice bowl i don't know if you guys have a waba grill near your where you guys live but there's a waba grill and i like to get the salmon and then half rice half vegetables um so i'm probably gonna pick one of those up for dinner because i really want to eat healthy and i don't want to eat trash or junk food especially before i have a flight tomorrow because i just don't want to risk stomach aches so because I, I i get nervous and i already like get anxiety thinking about it and when i get nervous like i usually give me myself a stomach ache and i just don't want to get that on the plane so i'm gonna try to eat pretty good for the next day um the day and a half um so i'm thinking of picking up a veggie and rice bowl with some salmon um tonight after work and then just going to my mom's to hang out with them for a little bit until the traffic dies down. Because if I just hit the freeway from my parents' house, going home without traffic, I'm usually home in like 45 minutes, maybe even less than that. So <laughs> I'd rather just do that um, and get home later than, you know, or whatever, or, or close to the same time that I would, would have gotten if I was sitting in traffic. So it works, it just works. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, <clears throat> but, what was the whole point of that anyway? Like I go off on these tangents and then I don't remember why. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. And 
just embracing fall season. So I'm hoping that there'll be some more spooky topics on the podcasts that I'm subscribed to. I gotta find some other podcasts too. Like I want some witchcraft podcasts. Like I'm really into witchy stuff right now. My little witchies. Um, <clears throat> speaking of witchy stuff, this is the book. Let me have some coffee, hang on. This is the book I was talking about. Um, the other day in one of my videos where I was talking about like I'm getting into the herbs and I really want to like learn about the metaphysical properties of the herbs and whatnot. <clears throat> so I picked up this one, the Botanical Magic. Um, it's the Green Witch's Guide to Essential Oils for Spellcraft, Ritual, and Healing. So um, it talks about a lot of like blends that you could do with the, with the essential oils to make your own spell oils and stuff. But it also goes into, like it talks about all of the different types of oils, which is really cool because um, I used to make spell oils a couple years ago and mine were really basic. Um, so I'm really excited because if I can get back into that, I might bring spell oils back into, <laughs> I call them spell oils, but it's like intention oils, I guess, if you don't want to call it, call it a spell. <laughs> But um, I might be bringing those back into the Cackling Moon shop. So that might be something coming up, you know, next year. We'll see. Um, but then it also talks about the herbs. So you have, and this is, it's funny that I pulled this one. Um, the, an, the anise, is that how you say it? Because um, I've been curious about that one, really in particular. That's funny. So anyways, if you have a picture of the herb, it tells you a little bit about it. Um, the source where it comes from, you know, the magical correspondences. It talks about the herbal lore, the uses of it. Um, warnings. It also gives you some warnings for the herbs too. So like um, this one says use with, use with caution if you're pregnant. So that's kind of cool because I don't know a lot about herbs and stuff. And I know that some of them is, you know, not good for you in a sense or not good for your animals. Um, and then it talks about... Um, the incense to banish evil and divination simmer potpourri and joy bath salt so it teaches you how to make all of that stuff which is kind of cool because um if there's anything that i want to learn how to make one is to make really damn good spell oil and then also to make um like like salves like creams or lotions for your hand because i'm a lotion freak i love creams i love hand creams i love lotion um, so if I can learn how to make that for myself, I would be in heaven, <laughs> but I'm really looking to do something, um, something extra with Cackling Moon on top of just tarot readings. And I remember when I was doing my oils, a lot of people really, really enjoyed it back in the day. So, um, I really want to kind of jump back into that because it was a lot of fun to make them. So yeah, <laughs> um, but I really like it. So this is going to be a fun book to read. Um, and this has also been one of those books that I've been pulling out to, um, to look through during this fall season. I don't know. It's just everything about witchcraft or witchery or spells and like things like that just makes me feel fall like, like it just, it just, it just gives, it adds to that sensation. So, um, I brought the book out with me cause I'm going to probably take it to work to look through. But we'll see. I don't know. I'm kind of torn between that. Do I take this book or do I take the demon tarot? I just, I have so many books, you guys. Like, I freaking love, I love books. I love books. I love to read. <laughs> um, what else? What else can you guys do to, like, embrace the fall season? Oh, your clothes. Duh. So what you wear is really, like, oh, my God. <laughs> this is my purse. Um, what you wear can really enhance the feel of the energies of the season. So right now it is, um, it's kind of starting to warm up. It's kind of starting to warm up here in Southern California. Yesterday it was cool. The day before that it was cold. cold. Today it's going to be probably high 70s to like maybe 80 degrees. It might hit 80 degrees, but I don't know. We'll see. <sighs> But the next couple days, it's supposed to warm up to the high 80s. And then even like down where I work, it's saying it could be hitting 90. And I'm just like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> it's And it's surprisingly, it's been warmer down the hill than it has been up here in the desert. So I think because up here in the desert, it's colder. 
it, it's really cold at night. Like at night it's cold. Like I actually put socks on last night, you know? Um, and so I think that it's starting to switch because when you go down the hill, you're like in the, in the valley <laughs> and it tends to be more muggy, like more, um, what's the word for it? Like, like humid. And then up here in the desert, we're above all of that humidity. So it's just cold. Um, or it's either, it's really fucking hot or it's cold. Like the de that's how the desert is. It's really hot or it's really cold. Um, but it's been cold. Like the season has, we, you're feeling the season change up here for sure. But then again, it could start to warm up. So <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, excuse me. But um, a way that I like to enjoy fall season is I'll wear a sweater. I'll throw on a sweater. So today I have my favorite black and white polka dot throw sweater. Like literally this is just one of those, like it's super cozy. Literally that's the tag, it's cozy sweater. Um, I love this, I love this thing. So the way the sweater is, is that it's like, it's sewn. I think there's a name for this. I think they call it like the, like a, to me it reminds me of a fucking like a flying squirrel, um, but that's how the arms are. So you have like all of that extra space, which which adds to the cozy feel of the sweater. Um, and then the, it's like a long sleeve, but I like to slide it up just a little bit. I don't I don't like to have sleeves all the way to my wrists. I just feel like claustrophobic when I have that. So I slide the sleeves up a little bit. Um, and you have like this really cute sweater. So it's just, and it's lightweight. So it's not like, you're not gonna, I'm not gonna get super hot in it. It's just one of those that I throw on. I always wear this one with, um, with a black shirt because it's a kind of like a croppy sweater. If you could see, like kind of a crop. And with my big boobs, like it just, it doesn't, it's not a long sweater. So if I wear it with black, like a black shirt, um, it just, it doesn't look too funky. Whereas if I wore it with like a different colored shirt, you could easily tell that the sweater, the sweater doesn't go all the way down. So I don't know, I'm just weird like that, but I like it. And every single time I wear the sweater, I, I always get compliments. Like people tell me they like it, they think it's cute. And it's really old. Um, I think I got it at least five years ago. It has to be because I was working at like one of the other libraries. Um, but I picked it up at one of those like little plus size boutique shops. I don't even think it's around anymore. <laughs> but it's like one of those little little boutiques where it's they say it's plus size clothing, but sometimes it's not always a true plus size size. Um, so yeah, but I love it. It's one of my favorite sweatshirts, sweaters, whatever you call it. <laughs> So yeah, the only thing, like I said, the only thing that's weird about it is that it's not, it doesn't go all the way down. Like I like my sweaters to be long because I'm apple shaped. So I have, you know, a little belly, I have a, gu a gut. Um, so I like things to kind of complement that to co you cover it up a little bit. And this one doesn't necessarily do it. It's more of a crop. So um, that's why I wear the black shirt underneath. So it just kind of like, it's an illusion that it keeps going, but it doesn't. <laughs> So anyways, um, so my, that's my other tip is like, you know, wear something that's fall like, whether it's a sweater or you're like a cozy sweater, something soft that makes you feel cozy, but it's also lightweight. So you're not like dying in it, you know, like for me, this, this, something like this, I'll just, I'll throw it off. I'll take it off when it gets hot, but, um, but it's there to just throw on, you know, when it's starting to get a little chilly or if I have the fan on me, <laughs> um, and then the other thing is also the colors that you wear. There's fall colors. So, you know, a lot of like oranges, um, like red oranges or reds or yellows, golden yellows. I wore a yellow shirt yesterday. Um, or browns, blacks, like those colors are fall colors and, and leggings and like scarves and, oh my God. I just, I love fall wear. <laughs> So yeah, like you could do that too, but getting yourself into the season. So um, yeah, you guys, I wanted just to kind of like put together a really quick video, talk about fall, cause I'm just super excited and it's October. So I ask you, if you guys made it to the end of my video, um, what are you doing this October? How are you experiencing your fall season? What do you do to, to you know, embrace the fall season? 
um, or what's like your favorite thing about the month of October? Let me know, comment below, and I will talk to you guys later. Starla. <laughs> All right, you guys, have a good day. I will talk to you guys later. Bye, my loves.